Very good, Kevin. Thank you. You might soon notice some new commercials on the radio or TV promoting the addition of new rapid transit lines in central Indiana. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser has more on the initiative and the plan you could be voting on soon. Because I want an alternative to driving. To get to class. To the store. To get to the game. This is one of several campaign ads rolling out today about bringing more public transportation to central Indiana. The commercials really intend to kind of reinforce that message. And, and also put it, put it back on, on the radar of folks that haven't been paying attention for a while. The Indy Connect plan has been in the works for years. The goal is to ultimately add five rapid transit lines in the area. Funding would come from federal, state, and possibly taxpayer dollars. Uh, so we are a part of a coalition that's asking the Indiana General Assembly to enact a law uh, that would allow, uh, on a county-by-county -county basis, voters to vote. Uh, and say yes, they want to fund it or not. If all goes according to plan and voters agree, one of the lines would take people from Greenwood Park Mall in Johnson County all the way down the road to Carmel with plenty of stops in between. Other stops would run from the airport east to Cumberland and from downtown to Noblesville. While the commercials run promoting mass transit, advocates continue to tweak their map and plan their route stops. Over oh, the work never ends. Um, we are, are constantly trying to use opportunities to help folks understand what this plan is and why it's important. And Chance Walser, RTV6. And if the legislature approves, transit advocates hope to have the issue in front of voters on or before the November 2014 ballot.